Hello, everybody, and welcome to this next episode of the I Hate Matt Wall Poetry Podcast, where today I'm going to tell you guys all a bunch of the shit that happened that took me kind of out of action last week, which is why the podcast did not show up on Wednesday or Saturday. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's coming, and then I'm going to tell you even a little bit more about some other stuff. Might read some emails, might read some comments, get on with our fucking day here, because we got some shit to fucking do. This is a very fucking exciting time of year, guys. Let's not bury the lead here. I just, minutes ago, got back from the orthopedic surgeon, and here is the dealio with my knee. I have a torn meniscus, and I can't, he, he didn't, what did he say? Was it torn? I don't know. So I have a torn meniscus, a fucked up ACL, and a fucked up LCL. I can't remember the exact terms he said, but he wants to do more MRIs, um, and kind of get a better look at something before he decides if I'm actually going to have surgery or if this is something he thinks that I could rehab. I didn't even know there was such a thing as an LCL before about an hour and a half ago. So there's that. Um, and the other side of me is sitting here saying, if this is the fucking case, how the fuck have I been sort of walking around on it this whole fucking time because your knee is not very big and when you have three fucked up things in it um seems pretty much like your knees fucked up so i don't know but um we will find out more shortly and i do want to say let me actually look this up so i could speak properly about all this i want to give a big thank you to dave doherty for um who is an x-ray tech, who kind of um, walked me through some of the things. So Dave, friend of the show, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Here, I will actually read to you what he said. He said, x-rays can see soft tissue as well, but they're not specialized to see them in detail as CT or MRI respectively. I can see where muscles and tendons meet in some knee x-rays, for example, as well as fat pads and joints, etc. Oh, let me say this since that came up. Apparently, my knee, the bones, um, the cartilage, all that stuff looks great. And the spacing between everything is good, which is where I was really worried because bone injuries tend to take longer to heal than um, all that other shit. So that was a big plus for me today. The comment continues, um, could be any number of things suggested by an x-ray to trigger surgery and not necessarily a fracture of some sort, but nonetheless, probably the surgery is not too fearsome to endure. Also, sometimes weird things like arthroscopies and other more minor investigative procedures done on a knee could be billed as surgery by a wackadoo insurance company. Kind of like how my 18-year-old piece of shit Impala is more expensive to insure because it's technically a sports car. Good luck. Try not to worry too much. Yeah, dude, like that Impala, like um, I know exactly the car you're talking about. Those were like super popular 18 years ago. So yeah, I, I, I feel you there. I feel you there. Let's go to the goddamn fucking shout outs if I'm right. Here we go. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons, Michael, Cedar, and Harry. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you. Welcome to Walmart. I love you. Okay, and then I also want to give a big thank you to crew members, Alan, Patrick, and AM. I really hope you're enjoying um, supporting me. I love you too. And then for the big swinging dicks over at the Anarchy Crew, who are... Swinging for the fences and knocking the balls over the walls. 
want to give a big thank you to Bunny, to Nate, to Mindy, to Thomas, to Tim, to Lisa, to Josh, to Jessica, to Shaylin, and to fucking number one Chappie over at the Chap Book of the Month Club, SDG. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And if you would like to be in the Anarchy Crew and get over 100 videos of extra shit and join in on the Zoom things we do together, the Discord, the daily writing prompts, which reminds me I have to put one up today, and also awesome projects like Project Broadside, which I just got Bunny's broadsides in the fucking mail today, so Project Broadside is a go! So you'll be hearing more about that in the coming weeks. Um, Poetic Anarchy Volume 3, that's going to be coming up here really soon as well. And some other things. And I think what I'm going to start doing here is either weekly or bi-weekly actual workshops where you guys come, we do a little lesson, I give you guys some prompts, and you write right there and then talk about it. And we like read each other's stuff. And also, we're going to start doing open mics. Anarchy Crew... Um, centric open mics here on the interwebs so tons of amazing stuff going on in the anarchy crew so you could join that by clicking the join button down below some of you have asked if there's other ways to do the anarchy crew and there is not the only way to do it is to click the join button and pony up that 9.99 a month and it's fucking worth it you will get more out of this than you got out of anything you've ever had in your life and then um, if you want to join the chat book of the month club, you get all of that shit plus anything I put out that month. Okay. That is the biggest swinging dick. The chappies. Okay. So anyway. Moving right along. Another thing I want to say too. I just ordered some of my own merchandise. Through, if you go to IHateMattWall.com and click Merch in the menu bar, um, it takes you to a place that has like t-shirts and tank tops and hoodies and all this shit. So I ordered um, a t-shirt, tried to order a hoodie, and I was going through, and I don't know if it's because like it's that time of year where everyone's buying shit for people and making gifts for people, but a lot of the sizes are gone. Um, so especially unless you're a small or a medium. Like, if you're a small or a medium, you're fine. You'll be able to find stuff. But if you are bigger than small or medium, I don't know when stock gets put back in, but run over to the merch and look through and see if what you want is there. And if it is, you need to get it right now. Because, um, like, I don't know. I'm actually super pissed because I was, um, because I'm so full of myself and I hate myself so much, I was gonna get everyone in my family my own merch for Christmas, um, and make them fucking be my goddamn billboards. But now, um, it seems like only the ladies in my family are going to be getting um, I hate Matt Wall centric merch. So that's fucking stupid. So now I'm going to have to come up with a new fucking Christmas strategy. God damn it. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you some other stuff. Because, like, there is some, like, family shit that's going on with me um, that kind of is fucking me up because it's the holidays. I don't really want to get into it. But, um, you know, I'm a Pisces. I wear my fucking heart on my sleeve. And then I fucking cry about everything, you know. Um, a lot of self-loathing going on over here. Oh, but here's the other thing, too. God damn it, I can't believe I didn't think of this. I might have to move. And I fucking love this apartment so much. And I really like this fucking neighborhood. But I can't be walking up and down these hills. And I can't have my car parked two blocks away in a fucking... On the fifth floor of a fucking building that the elevator only works some of the time. Um, I need to be on flat ground with easy access to my car. So um, th there's a part of my heart that's broken right now. But um, I don't know. I'm trying. And then I'm going to have to move um, 
towards East LA County would be best because every doctor and um, physical therapy fucking thing that I'm going to be going to is out that way. So, plus my family's out that way. And if I'm going to be fucking like not mobile for a few weeks, I'm going to need all the help I could get. And believe it or not, my family will not come to this neighborhood. And no matter if I'm on fire or getting fucking mugged or whatever, they're just like, oh, well, you shouldn't have fucking moved to fucking like downtown LA right there. You stupid fuck. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so that's fun. And also if I am going to move, I'm, I, I need to move before the surgery because I don't really have many people to fucking help me move. So if I'm going to do it myself, I have to do it before the surgery. And then here's the kicker. I originally injured my knee when I was moving into this fucking place. So dare I fuck that again? Do I tempt fate twice? Do we even know who we are? Other podcast news. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a two-parter, but I'm pretty fucking sure it's going to be a two-parter. I had another great conversation with Matthew Buckley Smith. We went over, if you recall, the um, I made him do the What Is Your Poetry tag. For those of you who follow me on YouTube, you will know what I'm talking about. So we did that. But then we also had a big conversation about critics, which pisses me off a little bit because I had just done, like this episode that I'm recording right now is the second version of this episode because before I recorded the conversation with Bucks, I had done this whole bit for the podcast about critics and um, I thought it was really good. But then all of that shit that um, I said in that me and Bucks ended up talking about and like getting really deep into it. So um, I'm like, eh, fuck it. Like, I'll just do a fucking new episode. So there's that too. Let's see. What else is there? Um, Blood Rag issue six. I don't know if I will have it by the time you hear this, but there's still probably four spots left if you want in on Blood Rag issue six. If you do a poem, 14 lines or less, send it to me. Also send a social media handle for people to find you. And also your physical mailing address so I can send you copies of this fucking thing. Okay? Now, just because there is room doesn't mean I will accept everything. I am choosy. Okay? I don't just put everything in here. But um, you probably have... You'll have an easier time getting into one of my publications. I am not so much a gatekeeper as I am the doorman. Okay? So let's just think about it like that okay there were a lot of questions here's a question that um, is on one of my videos um, and this is ko again ko writes how often is asking questions okay now i know that that's probably not exactly how i'm going to take it right now is not exactly how you meant it but i'm going to say it like this because i feel like people um get concerned about this. You guys could ask me as many questions as you want. That's why I'm here. If I didn't want to answer questions, I would just write poetry and not fucking do all this shit. Okay. So if you have questions, fucking get them out to me. That's what I'm here for. My whole fucking purpose in doing shit like this is to fucking help you. And because I'm selfish, I'm trying to help you help me because I want to read good shit. And there's too much bad shit out there. So I try to do as much as I can to help people write good shit so I will have something to read. Sitting on the toilet is a fucking lonely venture without a good fucking book. Just saying. <sighs> okay. I got a really nice email that made me that made me happy. So this is the email I got. And the subject line was, I hate you. Which made me think two things. And this is what I responded in the email. I thought, oh, one of my exes is sending me an email. (laughs) Or I thought somebody who really digs the show is fucking writing in. 
and it's this is from Ethan McGuire, and um, I I hope it's cool that you sent this. You didn't say I couldn't do it, so um, I'm I'm just gonna fucking do this. It says I'm finally writing you, but I've been listening to you and loving your I Hate Matt Ball poetry podcast ever since you appeared on Sleep Rickets. That appearance was great, to be honest, even though I initially had some negative things to say about your appearance, but when I listened to part two on The Secret Show, your whole personality made sense. Now I love your big swinging dick energy. God damn it, ain't that the fucking truth? Who doesn't love a big swinging dick energy? That's great. Um, it's incredibly lacking in the far too small dangling dick poetry world, but maybe people like you, Matthew, Alice, Cameron can help slowly shift the poetry culture. I feel it's already starting to happen, unless that's wishful, wishful thinking. Keep on swinging that dick. Now, Ethan, I want to tell you that you keep on swinging that dick, you fucking stud motherfucker. You're killing it. Okay, now here it is. That is not just wishful thinking. There is a fucking change. And you want to know why there's a change? Because there's people who want to change. There are people who want to make this shit better. Now, because I want to make this shit better, I do things, and the things I do, no matter how small, it causes a ripple effect. And that ripple might just be me making a chat book and selling two or three chat books to a couple people. But if those people get inspired to write their own chat books and put their own shit out, and it keeps going out, and then those people inspire those people, this is how shit happens. A lot of people feel like, oh, I can't really fucking change anything. I'm just blah, blah, blah. Pebble in a fucking pond. Okay? Pebble in a fucking pond. You get what I'm saying. You understand. So, yeah. So, um, honestly, everyone over at Slee Ricketts, love you guys. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Ethan, you're fucking awesome. And just so you guys know, too, since me and Ethan have been going back and forth, Ethan's going to be in the next blood rag. So you could read his fucking wares, man. So that'll be fucking awesome. And in the next, again, issue six we're talking about here, Ethan's in it. Bucks is in it. I'm in it. Um, Mark Rennie's in it. I've been, I, I'm so excited to get his stuff back in fucking publication, dude. He's like a, a UK poet slash short story writer who fucking kills. He, he's back from the weird mask days, dude. So, um, that's going to be fucking awesome. So all sorts of shit. So I'm really excited about this upcoming fucking issue. I just want to fill it out. Okay. Here is a question. And this was again from episode 30 of me reading my poems. This is from Andrew it says, I'm, I'm going to read it how it is, but I think I have to kind of come up with some shit here. Um, how does monthly chat books compare to yearly stand-up hours i don't think that's what he means stand-up hours so i'll come back to what i think he means in a minute um or a book or two a year could a chat book monthly translate to other small books monthly wondering about children's books not necessarily small maybe long even but in sketch note maybe i don't know if many pictures but not full page of text could that work without being spacey like insta poetry <laughs> okay so here's the thing with this this is a huge belief i have i'm going to make this as broad as possible because honestly we're sitting here on a fucking poetry podcast and i'm about to fucking answer a question about children's books creativity all of it it goes along the same thread like, we create. We are mad scientists. We are Dr. Frankenstein. We are unleashing monsters into the world. Okay? And I want you guys to think of your work in that, like, grand of a sense. This little fucking poetry... Oh, I just fucking poked myself in the eye. And I'm wearing glasses. This little chat book right here, this is a monster that is going to fucking affect people's lives. I know this, you know this. So what is the difference between me knowing this and you knowing this about your own shit? It's all mindset. And it doesn't even have to be salesmanship. Could you do a chat book every month that's like a kid's chat book? Of course you could. 
You just have to do the thing. If you do the thing and then sell the thing or give the thing out or whatever, you can do whatever you want creatively, whether it's chapbooks, whether it's broadsides, whether it's ebooks, whether it's paintings, whatever. You can do whatever you want to do, but the hardest thing to fucking fix here is you fucking getting off your ass and doing it. If you are listening to this fucking podcast right now, you have ever had the thought in your head, God, I would love to write a book someday. No matter what kind of book it is, I would just love to write a book someday. And you haven't written that book, ask yourself right now, what the fuck is wrong with me? Because there is no reason why you are not doing the fucking thing. Oh, but you don't understand. It's like time and fuck, you know, I got a family and I have a fucking job, dude. I have a job, you know, God, there's just, mm, you know, you can make excuses for every fucking thing in your life. And you probably do, but you don't have to. That is a choice. You choose to make an excuse, just like you choose to make time to do the thing. Okay? And you have to be fucking honest with yourself right now. Do you really want to fucking do this? Or do you like having the excuses? A lot of people out there want to be writers, but they love the fucking misery of going, God, if only my life was different, I would do that thing. A lot of people in the fucking Anarchy Crew came into the Anarchy Crew thinking that they had no time, thinking that they could never do this, but they just wanted to give it a shot. All it takes is that fucking just the step off the ledge. That's all it takes. If you trust yourself enough to try, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I know that sounds like, oh, you can't be an astronaut or the fucking president and all this other shit. No shit. But I'm saying, if you would like to make something, create something for the world to see, you can definitely fucking do that right now. Going back along with this pebble in the pond thing, when I decided to come back, because like, for those of you who don't know, again, I took about a week off to deal with some shit with me, and there was actually some cool shit. I was pitching a TV show, and I was pitching a movie, and that went really well, but I probably won't hear anything back on this until fucking February because of the holidays and then Sundance and all this other fucking garbage bullshit. But anyway, but I went on... And started, like, just, you know, doing my spiel and talking. And somebody came on the chat and was like, hey, I just wanted you to know I was inspired by you. And I made some chat books anonymously. And I went and passed them around town. And I'm like, oh, why'd you do it anonymously? And um, he was like, oh, well, it has some unpopular political ideas and I didn't want to like bring any shit on me. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get you, I get you. And then someone else came on and said that I had inspired them too and they were right then and there working on their chapbook, like putting it together, like writing the shit for it and I don't know where exactly where they were in the fucking thing. But um, Tim Johnston, um, Anarchy Crew member, his chapbook's written. I need to go through it and send him some notes on that a little bit. Like, that should be coming out, okay? And I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. I'm saying this because a lot of people don't think that they could do this or just never think about it at all. And I'm telling you right now, there are people all over the place, just like you, who are hearing me talk and then doing the fucking thing. So I'm giving you permission right now. Do the fucking thing. You're killing it. All right. So, Andrew, yes, do the fucking children's book thing. And you could do it monthly. In fact, if you're going to be selling these on Amazon, the more frequently you put them up, like the better they will show up in search results. But if you're going to do it on Etsy, Etsy too. Um, I would say Etsy, what, what did they say? Every three weeks. You have to post every three weeks on Etsy in order to stay current in their algorithm. So that's just something to think about there. And here is another question. This one says, do you do all publishing bits or know people who help? 
The image of sending writing to an editor and someone who publishes sounds relieving, even if editor don't edit, just talk about the writing with you. And I wonder if the pain before deadlines is worth the possible goods after, even if not for you, can you elaborate the person making arts responsibilities and emotions about them? Okay, um, I'm going to hit this first topic first. <clears throat> do I do all the publishing bits? Right now, yes. Um, I have had my stuff published by small presses, and it was not an amazing experience. It was just like I never got any money for anything. I have no idea how much money was made on my stuff. There was no pushing or anything like that. There are a lot of small presses who just want to put stuff out so they can say they're a small press, but they don't have the business savvy to fucking like go, okay, I'm putting my name on this book as a publisher. I'm going to try so fucking hard to get this book sold. No one wants your book to sell more than you do. Okay. So no one's going to love your book and put as much care into your book as you do. So if you are going to do that thing, then it is important for you to fucking really put your heart and soul into it. If you're going to go that far, do the fucking sales, push the book, let everyone know about the book until they're fucking sick of hearing from you. Um, that's very fucking important. All of my artwork, uh, as you can see, like with this book, my artwork is pretty fucking minimal. And I, I do like minimalist art in general but yeah uh for the most part i do my covers right now i'm trying to outsource some of my cover work because it's just it's time consuming and i would rather be doing other things editing i try to do little rough edits but i always miss stuff and so it's so fucking important for you to read your poetry or even your short stories or your novels Read them out loud, because when you have to say the words out loud, you will hear when things are clunky. You will hear when things don't make sense. You will see words misspelled easily, because when you just look, your brain puts shit together for you, because your brain wants to figure shit out. It wants to make everything easier for you. So there will be misspelled words, but your brain won't see them as misspelled words. Your brain will put the word together the way it should be, okay? And um, honestly, I was just having a conversation with another author um, about content editors, and this might get me into a lot of trouble, but honestly, like content editors, like someone telling you like, oh, you know what you should do with your book? You should do this, 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 and that. Um, I know content editors understand the hero's journey and all that shit, but if a content editor was really any good, wouldn't they just be making a shit ton of money off their own fucking books? You know? So don't run out and get a content editor, guys. Like, you're, you're good. Do, do the fucking work. And if someone says you, tells you after the fact, hey, there's this huge problem in your story, then think about it. But honestly, paying someone a ridiculous amount of money because they have a fucking nameplate on their fucking home office, whatever, like, I, I don't get it. I don't see the fucking point in it. But whatever. So anyway, um, so that was another question. Thank you um, for the question there. Let's go ahead and look at the butt plugs. I was going to add a bunch more butt plugs. I don't think I'm going to. So let's just hit them how they go. So first off, if you have something to say, if you want to um, give me a bunch of shit, if you want to take me out to dinner, you know, whichever. Go ahead and send me an email at IHateMattWall at gmail.com and let me know what you're thinking. Again, the 2021 yearbook on my um, website, IHateMattWall.com, on my mailing list, that book is going bye-bye at the end of the year. So if you want that book, you have to go sign up for my mailing list to get that book for free. Okay, It's a free fucking book. You get a free fucking book. Again, like my chapbooks are available on Etsy. Um, my uh, paperback books and my ebooks are available on Amazon, including the Poetic Anarchy Volumes 1 and 2, and soon Volume 3. 
as well as Horrywood on Kindle Vela. Um, my music can be found anywhere. Um, if you want any of my art, you have to message me directly and tell me which piece you're looking at. And if you want to know what art I have, go over to my Instagram and just scroll through and you'll see my paintings and shit like that. And again, I am getting prints made, but like there's a laundry list the size of fucking long things that I'm trying to work through here. Um, Blood Rag Issue 5 out now. Um, Blood Rag Issue 6 is coming. If you want mentorship, if you want me to help put together a sales plan for you, um, a marketing funnel, like if you want to talk about actual process um, and have like an hour long one on one with me, um, I could help you go through whatever the fuck it is you want to go through. And um, you could find out more about that um, if you go to IHateMountWall.com slash mentorship. Um, and you'll see some stuff in there. But even if you just, like, have an idea of something you want to talk to me about, hit, hit me up and, like, pitch what it is. And I'll tell you if I could help you or not. I would say if you want to be a guest on the show, hit me up. But I'm trying to get a better rig set up. And hopefully the next time you see me... Like, not the Bucks episodes, but after that, I'll have better gear, so um, it'll be a lot better. And if you want me to teach a workshop for you, hit me up, let me know. But if you want to have almost, like, a 100 workshops with me where you're doing the work, and then you can email me the work, and I'll go over it with you. If you want this, you have to join the Anarchy Crew. So click that Join button on my YouTube page. Join the Anarchy Crew. And you know what? If you want to try it out first, go to PoeticAnarchy.com and the first five lessons are there. And you can watch those for free. Do the work. Send me the fucking shit and we'll talk about it. Okay? So, um, with all that said, I guess that's it. So, you know the fucking drill, right? Keep buying my books. Type hard. And what? I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.